Hey everybody, it's Sean here from VidGamiac.com. Welcome back to another episode of VidGamiac versus Imports. Today we are doing Chapter 7 in Steins Gate. So right off the bat, what you want to do is you want to fast forward. Not too much interesting in these later chapters um, in terms of choices, but um, a lot of stuff dealing with uh, using um, backup saves. So uh, that's pretty cool, and it will save you a bunch of playthroughs. You only have to do really two full playthroughs of this game. Which is awesome for our sake, because I'm lazy and uh, like to get achievements rather quickly. So, uh, anyways, just keep fast forwarding through this. You should get a text message once you meet Jacket Girl. Make sure you open it, and then our response is going to be the second one. So make sure you respond using the second one, send that off, and you should be on the right path. Continue fast forwarding, and then once you uh, get to here, you should get another text message from the same person. You just want to read that one, nothing too important. Just uh, keep fast forwarding after that. Alright, we are going to get another Back to the Future um, transition card here. It goes back a whole day. That's crazy, but uh, you're going to have to sit through this quite a bit. There we go, and uh, back to fast forwarding. You have this part where the game stops you and tells you to use your phone, just uh, keep hitting A. Everything is done automatically for you, which is pretty cool. Same thing with this part, just uh, let the game run and you should be good because everything is done automatically. You meet this guy who looks like Dennis Rodman from the Chicago Bulls. Uh, that's a thing, apparently he's in this game. He makes a cameo. There's a lot of Chaos Head cameos in here, but now we got uh, some cameos from the NBA. So another uh, Back to the Future transition card later. A lot of time travel in these Japanese games. But uh, you're going to be here, talk to Maid Girl, and we're going to get another text message. Open this up, and then you want to make the first choice, the one with the squiggly line at the end. Anyways, some stuff's going to happen. Dennis Rodman shows up without his sunglasses, and we enter... I guess like a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, and uh, here we get another text message, just read it and get back to the dueling action, because it's time to duel. You should also get an achievement, 20 gamer score, I'm pretty sure it's like beat Seto Kaiba or something, but uh, after that we are going to continue to fast forward, can't lose with Dennis Rodman on our side, especially once he gets his sunglasses back. Alright, so some more fast forwarding later. And uh, Dennis Rodman's our homie right now. You're going to get to this part. You want to make sure you answer this phone call. That's very important. As well as the next phone call. So you're going to get two phone calls. And you want to make sure you pick up both. And you should be good. Second one comes here when you're in this warehouse. And uh, then you're on the streets. Some more stuff's going to happen. Lots of talking back in the apartment building. Quick change of clothes. Some Japanese stuff happens, and uh, yeah, so you get to this part, game's gonna stop you. Alright, what you wanna do here is you wanna bring up the pause menu and make a save. So we're gonna make another uh, backup save here, and this time we're gonna save it in slot number 4. So make sure you uh, make sure you keep your saves in a place where you can find them. And uh, after that, we are going to keep hitting A. And just ignore this part. You do not want to make the call. The girl is basically telling you to uh, bring up your phone and then send a text message to someone. We're going to skip that first and then just fast forward to the end of the game. Pretty much this is like getting a bad ending or an incomplete ending. So make sure you do that and you should get that achievement. But remember we made that save so you don't have to worry about the game ending early because we're just in this for the achievements. And that's the cool thing about making uh, backup saves. So just keep letting this run, and the game should end at the end of this chapter, right here. And uh, back at the Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, I guess she loses the tournament or something like that. But the credits start rolling, and you should get an achievement. It's going to pop up right after that uh, game logo. There it is, 50 gamer score for getting that ending. And uh, just go through all the menus you get in the post game. So uh, I like picking yes for all of these. I'm pretty sure it's asking you to like make a save. But uh, anyways, just load up your last save. So load up the chapter 7 save, which should be in slot 4. These are the uh, saves we are using to get achievements. And this time, when the girl brings up this um, 
phrase. What you want to do is want to hit the X button to bring up your phone and then hit A to send the message. And this should let you continue the story. So there's going to be a lot of these moments, especially in the next few chapters. But uh, this is how you continue the story and get another achievement for finishing chapter 7 for 10 gamer score. That's it for this part. Don't forget to check back soon for chapter 8. And that's all there is to it.